Lieutenant Colonel Daniel Ava, RSG commander and OIC of the mayor cell. A mayor cell um, is designed to provide units quick buildup of combat power. And in the case of our mission here in Morocco, it's to receive those units, conduct joint reception, staging and onward integration, and also then as they integrate into their new locations, provide that sustainment support so that they can build combat power quickly and execute their mission. What does an RSG do? The best way is to say we do anything related to base operation sustainment. And that can be anything from you coming to me about a soldier issue that you're having, perhaps that they've had some situation, perhaps it's something to deal with uh, food service, perhaps it's something to deal with a situation, unit to unit situation, green on green, so to speak, but also then really any needs from deployment to redeployment to while you're here conducting your mission, anything really that you need from a support to a tenant unit would be something that the RSG is here to support you. These are all parts of our mission that we are here to support from, like I said, the port operations to feeding of the, the troops that are here in Morocco to making sure that they have suitable living conditions and ultimately, if we do our job well, it's almost like they don't know we're here and things just magically appear. And so that's really our goal is to provide the highest level of customer service to our tenant units and partners. I am in the Army Reserves. I've been in the Army Reserves for over 23 years. I've held different positions of increasing responsibility from starting my time as a platoon leader all the way up to battalion commander and, and then of course having the opportunity to be here in Morocco for African Lion as the OIC and of the mayor cell and RSG commander. The role of the U.S. Army Reserve Soldier at uh, African Lion 2021 is to, um, is, 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 is multi, um, uh, there's multiple parts to that um, uh, mission. Um, first and foremost is to recognize that we're a guest in Morocco and really respect the country and uh, consider it a privilege to be here and be working with uh, the Moroccan forces. Um, second is to hone our training. Uh, part, of, um, part of the mission of the Army Reserve is to be a trained and ready force. And this provides us an opportunity to, uh, uh, to uh, be that global force, to be trained and ready to understand how to deploy, how to redeploy, how to uh, build combat power, um, and in some cases here, uh, there's different environments that we're working in, and some of them are more austere, so it gives us the opportunity to uh, conduct training and execute our mission in an austere environment. I believe that that's one of the benefits of having an Army Reserve Force is that they bring different skill sets beyond our military training to the fight. Um, for example, some of us are police officers on the civilian side, and that gives an opportunity for them to interact with um, the forces here, but also to use that sort of training to help um, you know, provide um, safe environment for the soldiers to work in, from um, you know, organizing uh, how, uh, how, how we're interacting with the, the Moroccan forces to understanding how to keep a disciplined force um, to make sure that we respect the Moroccans at all time. I think all of us bring something different to the fight um, from uh, myself, um, who is a director on the civilian side, and uh, really um, I have opportunities to work with different cultures all around the world, um, and it really helps to, as we communicate with the Rockins, to understand uh, their, uh, their personal and, and situation, and um, really be able to connect with them and understand and, and um, have that partnership experience versus a, you know, army, army experience and, and to really build those friendships. I hope that the reserve soldiers uh, that have the opportunity to participate in African Lion 2021 will take back to them, to their civilian lives, uh, a, a really deep and rich understanding of, of the culture here in Morocco as well as um, the friendships and, and uh, understanding and relationships and take that new knowledge and apply it to whatever their civilian role may be, whether it's um, a leader uh, in an organization or even continuing back to those who um, are active guard reserve uh, for their full-time job.
you know, the top thing that I'm going to take back to my civilian job is just um, uh, the, the, the interactions and friendships and partnerships that I've built with the Moroccan forces here, uh, because I think it, it, it tells us that the world is much bigger. It's, it's not about where we sit in, in uh, Madison, Wisconsin. It's, it's understanding that the world is rich in culture and diversity and taking that back and applying and sharing it with my employees as they go forward in, in their responsibilities and roles to understand that it's, it's important for us to seek out and understand differences in culture and apply it to our understanding so that we can build a better world. Why did I sign up 23 years ago? Uh, it, it was truly to serve my country. I'm the first person in my family that served in the armed forces. And, um, you know, it's, it's a humbling experience. I encourage everyone to do this, um, not only because it's our responsibility, but because we get to serve. And you think of all of the soldiers and sailors and airmen and Marines that have died before us, right? Defending our great country. That's why I did it, because it's something that I'm responsible for um, to, to defend our country. I appreciate all of um, all the things that our soldiers do, um, and airmen and, and uh, corpsmen and Marines. Um, so all all services, um, uh, and, and not just even Father's Day. Just thinking of all the families that um, are missing their loved ones, and um, thinking about them, and knowing that they're here safe and sound, and, and that we're going to get them back home soon.